This week on Wilderness Systems Kayak Bassin Show, Chad Hoover heads north of the border to Slippery Winds Lodge with his son Austin and Matt Donnelly of ScoutLookWeather.com. So here we are, Fort Francis, Canada, Rusty Myers Air Service, doing the fly-in. Here in Canada. Having shipped their kayaks to slippery winds a month in advance, the guys immediately set to work on rigging them up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a rod holder for Austin to use on this Tarpon 120 from Wilderness Systems. What we're gonna use to do that is a new, is the new Mighty Mount from Yak Attack with the fullback. The fullback has a hardware pressed into it. So all you have to do is take your Mighty Mount Drill your four holes, drop your hardware in there as you drill the holes, tighten it down with an Allen set, and you're, you're set, you're ready to go. So here's the cool thing about this, this uh, fullback backing plate. Simply by taking an Allen wrench to tighten these up, what you wanna do is just get it behind the backing plate first, line these holes up, and you can start it by hand. Get each of your screws started, Then once each of them started, you can simply tighten them down. And I recommend using a crisscross pattern. And that's as simple as that. Your Mighty Mount with fullback is installed and ready to accept any number of Yak Attack or Ram accessories. Boy, it is hot as moose nuts up here in Canada. End of June, first part of July, finally got unpacked, got all of our stuff rigged up on the kayaks. We've only got a couple of hours of daylight left today, so we're gonna do, go out and do some exploring, look around, try to figure out the lay of the land, and then we'll put, them up, put it on them tomorrow. So, threw a couple of lures in the box, and we'll try some big Senkos, buzzing some frogs, throwing some spinner baits and buzz baits, and just see if we can locate fish, develop a game plan to go out there and find those big fish tomorrow. Mouth. <laughs> nice smallie, huh? Stick bait action. 88 degrees, toasty day, but we'll take it. All right, guys, we're nearing the end of day one in Canada. We're throwing goofy lures for toothy critters. We got the loons calling in the distance. We got the moon rising over my shoulder and some crazy cloud formations forming. So we'll be right back with more Northern Woods action. All right, so here we are, day two, Slippery Winds Lodge, Northwestern Ontario, Canada. It comes early here, daylight comes early here. All right, so we're gonna head out. We're gonna try to get a monster pike, a muskie, and then hopefully a big pig bee smallmouth to start the day off. Cross that line, make some run. 
Bad day bottle and a gun to me You bet you can't blame no one now, mister Drove three days and you can't look back Cause you find yourself missing Her hair and curls, painting her toes in the towel In the kitchen And I'm just sitting and waiting Staring at the gate The rain keeps missing Beautiful time of day. A little top water action, probably my favorite type of fishing. That pike hit about three feet from the boat, slammo. Line running, chaos ensued. Got him to the boat. What a fun moment. That's what we're after. A few more of those will definitely make for a great week, you know? She liked my work, I sing my song. She laughed every time I curse the phone. She knew to leave well enough alone, and I'm missing. Nice spot right here, little island. A little topwater action here, first night out here. Is he heavy? No, he's not heavy at all. Nice fish, though. still ain't swing. Trying to change my way. Better off on down the road now. Better off yeah. all along. Feels like a decent Breaking fish. Heart, don't tell no one I'm missing. If I can get it out of the tree. Oh! Came off. Mmm! With a solid morning of fishing under their belts, the guys fish their way back to Slippery Winds Lodge to refuel for the big day ahead. Located in northwestern Ontario, less than 40 miles from the U.S.-Canadian border and International Falls, Minnesota, Slippery Winds Wilderness Resort sits on a peninsula between two spectacular lakes. With a capacity of only 18 guests and having practiced a strict catch-and-release policy for the past 10 years, it's easy to understand why Slippery Winds boasts some of the best freshwater fishing oh, in North America. Big. Oh, so Slippery Winds Lodge is made up of six separate lakes. Each of these lakes all maintain the characteristics of the rugged Canadian North Woods, but they all have a little bit of their own personality. Smaller bays in some lakes, larger bays in other bays, little secluded pockets, creeks that feed back to backwoods, uh, little pockets and places that you can't get to in a motorboat if you're a kayak fisherman. Portages, they, or portages as they say up here, to get you into those places. Each of them have motorized boats on both sides of the portage. Great staff, unbelievable meals, super accommodations, Wi-Fi if you want to stay connected to the real world. You know, this is an unbelievable experience whether you want to target pike, musky, uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, lake trout, or an unbelievable wildlife fishery. You definitely owe it to yourself to check this place out. Unbelievable fishery, unbelievable. After wolfing down breakfast, Chad, Matt, and Austin get a little help from friends as they set off on their next adventure. The mission today is to explore one of the more remote lakes of the area called Sullivan Lake. You know, there's a running joke where I'm from that says, you know, what's the difference between a, a redneck and a hillbilly? And the answer to that joke is uh, altitude. <laughs> you know, and I'll tell you what, I do a lot of backwoods adventures where I drag the kayak and, uh, and most of that is flat land, dragging it through swamps, dragging it across leaf litter and pine straw and things like that, which, you know, that in and of itself is a workout. But, you know, you start dragging the kayaks up over those rocks and you add altitude to the, altitude to the equation and it makes for a completely different experience. It definitely gets the uh, lactic acid building up in the quads and lets you know you're alive. But I tell you what, if a big old boy like me can do it, anybody can do it. I'm never making fun of Canadians again. When we come back, 
Chad, Matt, and Austin oh, begin their hunt for big fish in oh, Sullivan Lake. Nice. Stay tuned for more kayak bass in action. These are some stout little jokers. Chad Hoover's at Slippery Winds Lodge in northwestern Ontario with his son Austin and Matt Donnelly of ScoutLookWeather.com. One of the teams that I'm, you know, very proud to be a part of, right, ranks right up there with any other company that I'm associated with, is ScoutLookWeather.com. I got introduced to the company through one of the partners, Cy Weikert, and I actually invited Cy to come along on this trip. However, I got Cy to check out the website, and when he did, he looked through the amenities, and there was no um, pedicures available and no late evening massages, so he phoned it in. He called me up and said, hey, Chad, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this trip. Sent me an email and did a little email introductory to a Mr. Matt Donnelly. And I thought to myself, okay, well, here That's we go. I'm getting the B team. I was a little bit disappointed because size the guy that I know the best from the company. But the really cool thing about having the opportunity to spend seven days with Matt out in the middle of the wilderness is you get to know somebody really quick and you get to find out what they're all about. And the, the main reason that I'm so proud to be part of a company like Scout Look is that that company is outdoorsmen. Outdoorsmen built the company. Hunters built the company. Fishermen built the company. Guys that get out there and do it. And Matt got out there and did it, and he did it to the max. He got out there and he did it hard. He was right there, right in my back pocket, or pushing me, or leaving me in the dirt. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're looking for a resource that you can use for fishing, if you're looking for a resource that you can use for hunting, if you're looking for something to increase your odds of success, Scoutlook Weather is an absolute gold mine of information and it's one of the most valuable tools that you can use as an outdoorsman, a hunter, an angler, a golfer for that matter. A little bit better fish, not a monster. Wow, great fight and it's not even a monster. Let's get this guy back in the water and I'll show you what I got him on. So when I was going through my tackle at the, at the lodge, one of the guys working there saw this and was like, throw that. <laughs> nice Rapala, super shad wrap. And I know it's not gonna work out to where I'm catching them on every cast, but literally, first cast, I saw this lay down that went up by the bank, extended out into deeper water, and you see that nice dark line. So I cast up near the shallow part, four cranks on the reel handle, golden green flash, nice little norther smashed it. Rapala, super shad wrap, great baits. That adds another species to the list that I've caught on this. I've caught largemouth, you know, big tarpon. I've even caught catfish on this bait before, you know, drilling it along in shallow water and they come out behind a rock and smash it. Super shad wrap. Let's get another one. This little setup right here was pretty cool. I saw this big log that started out in shallow water and fell off into deep water. And I pulled one bass off of there with the Senko. I looked down there and there's another bass laying at the fork. So I pitched the Senko up and let it fall down to where it was falling, right on top of the log. And just as it passed the log, this bass come out and snatched it. I set the hook and it just went crazy. All right, so let me stop and take a second and tell you about the kayaks that I chose for this Canadian adventure. First, the Ride 135 for Matt and I, and second, the Tarpon 120 for Austin. You know what, there's a couple of reasons that I chose these boats. The Ride 135 is rugged, durable, and has tons of gear capacity. With the choice between the Ride 135 and the Ride 115, I knew that we're gonna have to make some long paddles to get some of these backwoods destinations, and the Ride 135 is much more suited for those long paddles. The Tarpon 120 that I chose for Austin is a great boat, packed with fishing features, but it's a little bit lighter for him to make it over these tough, rugged Canadian portages. Both boats perform flawlessly, and the ability to stand and fish and find some of the deep weeds that have been a key to our success was a really great feature in the Ride 135. Both models perform flawlessly, and either will be a great choice for your next kayak fishing outing. Holy cow! Stay tuned. Oh when we come back, Slippery Wind shows why it's recognized as one of the premier walleye destinations in the world. With the end of a long day on the water drawing near, the guys head out once again, hoping to learn firsthand why Slippery Winds is considered one of the best walleye fisheries in North America. So we switched gears 
paddle back, grab a couple of minnow buckets and some jig heads, and we're gonna go for broke, jigging deep, trying to pick up a fat walleye. Nice fish on. Nice. Woo, good fish. Big fish. Big fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a slob. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a big. <laughs> Bam. Wow. Holy cow. That's a lot of that's a lot of fish in a kayak. <laughs> ah, fish on. It's been a long day, and this fish is pulling good. <laughs> Come on up here and show yourself, Mr. Walleye. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Make an appearance on Kayak Bass and TV for me, why don't you? We worked hard all day. We did a portage, got a couple of big pike, decided to swing for the fence and go for like the, uh, whoa. Sure-handed Hoover there, go for the uh, the primary target species up here, which is the big fat walleye. And look at the girth on that thing, big fat gut. Man, that thing will make some some nice fillets. But he did a self-release, and uh, we're gonna get back in there and get another one. I think I got one. Oh yeah, fish on, baby. Spills like a good one. Uh, it's a little drag. Oh, a little bent rod. Got another hook up. Got a double hook up. Up to it. Oh. Let me get out of your way. I think mine might be a little better. <laughs> yeah, I think oh. got... oh, that's a hoss. Yeah. <laughs> oh. nice. ah. Yeah, baby. Nice. Man, I'm going to tell you, these fish are a lot prettier in person than what you see in the photos and the magazines. Man, these gold skin color. And they're a rugged freaking critter. They got rough skin, big old gnarly teeth, big old eyes. Get a look down that chomper. Oh. And a lot better fighter than I expected. Woo! And Austin's got a little hookup going on over there. Nice. Put the heat on him, buddy. Woo! Come on, come on, just fight him in. Let me push forward. Nice. Get him in the boat. You it. Oh. Great fish, buddy. Well, guys, I can't think of a better way to finish the show. We just had a double hookup. It was amazing having my son, Austin. And we got Matt hooked up in the background. Nice. You know what? This is what you come to the great Canadian North for. <laughs> big walleye, big pike, and even with super hot weather, we were able to pull off wow, some big fish. Big. I'm going to get this guy back in the water and go take a look at Matt and see how big a fish he's got. That's a beast. Off he goes. Hey, thanks for joining us this week on Kayak Bass and TV. Let's go check out Matt's pig, and we'll see you next week. Oh, baby. Get over here.
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a nice, nice, nice fish right there. Holy cow. You know what? Whether you're new to kayak fishing or you're looking to give kayak fishing a try, visit hook1 at kayakfishinggear.com for the latest in kayak fishing accessories, kayaks, and you know what? If you don't see something that you like, give us a call and we'll make sure we add it. Wow, nice fish.